is a racer. Damn it. How am I going to find Asaka if I can't even get in the club? If you allow me to interlude. Hmm. I hear you don't have a guest pass. Oh, I see. Damn, I wish I could restart. Because I get it now. I understand. I know what you want from me. Uh, this is bad. Worse. Whatever, you bold fart. Well, I never. I feel sorry for that boy's parents. Though I'm sure being his teacher is hard enough, Hashimoto sensei. Back to Yakuza 3 Remastered. It's time to go and get there. Uh oh. Come on, give me it back. I will, just not yet. Sorry, Tai Chi. Sounds like Tai Chi and Aki are up in arms over something. I better go take a look. Just give me my money back. I don't have it right now. Can you wait until I get my allowance? But that's not till next week, and the new Rangers Magnus comes up, comes out today, and all the kids at school are gonna read it before me. I'm sorry, Tai Chi. Ah, uh, whatever. You better pay me back soon, Wireface. Why didn't you pay Tachi back, Ayako? Did you lose the money, or accidentally spend it? Um. Come on, this isn't like you. When you borrow something from someone, you have to make sure you give it back. But... I... um... Don't be afraid. You can tell me. Someone stole it. What? One of the other kids. Are you sure? Maybe it just fell out of your pocket. No, I keep all my money in my wallet inside my bag. So whoever stole it will have known it was there. Alright, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. No! Ayoko, we have to find out what happened. But I'll go around up the other I'll go around up the others. Wait for me in the dining room. Okay. And that reminds me of when this guy stole all my Pokemon cards out of my backpack. They were in plain sight. I was kind of a dumbass. Where have you been, Uncle Kaz? We're supposed to be getting dinner ready. Looks like dinner's gonna have to wait. Huh? Why? Ayako's money has gone missing. Huh? Do you think someone stole it? Sounds like it. One day it was in her wallet, the next it was gone. That's awful. Anyway, we're gonna meet in the dining room. I want you there. Alright. Don't want even to do that strut. Sure, there's nobody up in the laundry room. Hmm? What's up, Uncle Koss? There's something we need to talk about. Wait for me in the dining room, okay? Okie dokie. Hey, uh, oh, I was kidding. Hey, can you two go in the dining room for me? Uh -huh. What's wrong, Uncle Kaz? Nothing, really. We just need to have a family discussion about something. Okay, okay. Did something happen? I'll tell you later. See you girls in the dining room. Okay. I wonder if she stole the money. <laughs> it could just be some family stealing. Kids these days, they do these things, you know? Daiji. Uncle Kaz, you gotta help! I gave Ariko some money, but she's not giving it back. 
I know. I heard you two arguing earlier. Then why won't you do something? I am. Go wait in the dining room. All of us are going to have a talk about what's going on here. What do you mean? It looks like someone stole the money from Ioka. Uh. Huh? Like, someone here? I'm not sure yet. That's why I want to have this meeting. Just wait for me in the dining room, okay? Yeah, okay. Koji. Oh, Uncle Kaz, what's up? Can you three go and wait for me in the dining room? Isn't it kind of early for dinner? We're gonna have a house meeting. Why? What happened? You'll know soon enough. Just go away from me, okay? All right, come on. These kids run weird. Time to find out who stole this money. Now we gotta get Ayoko in there. Get on over to the dining room. Ayoko? Okay. Well, that's everyone. Time to find out what happened. That's pretty much all we know. Ayoko's really worried, and rightfully so. The money that got ta the money got taken right out of her wallet after all. Now, I don't like doing this any more than you do, but if one of you stole the money, I need you to speak up. She did, she did, I told you, she's the only one looking down. Ayoko, when did you first notice it was gone? Um, I think it was two days ago. All right. Then did any of you notice anything weird going on? Were there any strangers hanging around or anything? Uh, I think I saw something. Riona was digging around Ayoko's bag. Riona? Ayoko-chan said I could borrow her paint, so I was getting it out of her bag. You don't think I stole the money, do you, Uncle Kaz? Of course not. Now that I think about it, didn't Mitsu just buy a new model set? It's a pretty fancy one, too. Kind of suspicious timing, don't you think? Well, Mitsu, how did you get the money for something like that? Huh? huh? I saved up for weeks, that's how. I didn't do anything wrong, Uncle Kaz. I even stopped buying snacks so I could save up quicker. Besides, don't they say the first guy to speak up is usually the one who did it? What was that? You heard me. Stop it, you two. Uncle Kaz, what do we do? Alright, we're done here. This was clearly a mistake. But somebody stole the money, right? Yeah, he's right. Look, we're not going to keep sitting here flinging ac accusations at each other. That's not what being a family is about. But I'll say it again. If one of you did take the money, you can come talk to me whenever you want. I won't tell the others. The only thing that accomplished was making everyone doubt each other. Although we'd been missing a lot more than Uncle's money if the thief had come from the house, from outside. So as much as I hate to admit it, one of the kids must have stolen it. Guess the only option now is looking through their things. What were you doing in here, Yuri? Um, nothing. That's Ayoko's bag, right? You know you can't dig around in there without her permission. Come on, just tell me what you were doing. Or is there a reason you don't want to say? You're wrong! Uncle Kaz, what's wrong with Eerie? I found her looking through your bag. Huh? Oh! Is something else missing? Nuh-uh. Actually, the money's back in my wallet. What? Eerie. She ran outside, probably down to the beach.
All right, Eerie. It's time you told me what's going on. I'm sorry, Uncle Koss. I'm really, really... S Oops, sorry. So it was you. I promised my friends I'd go to the movies with them, but I don't have any money. Then why'd you promise? I never get to do stuff with them. They have real parents, so they get way more allowance than I do. And you have nine of us to take care of, so I can't ask for more. My friends know I can't afford a lot, so they never ask me to do stuff with them. So when they asked me to go to the movies, I was really happy. I couldn't say no to that, so I just took the money. I was gonna give it back next time I got my allowance, I swear, but... I'm sorry, Uncle Kaz. I'm glad you're planning to pay her back. But you can't borrow something that's not yours without asking first. That's stealing. Mm. I know. But you gave the money back. And now you confess too. That's very brave of you. The next step now is apologizing to Ryoko. Think you can do that for me, Erdy? But I made everyone so mad. Nobody's gonna forgive me. ちゃんがお金持っていくところ見ちゃってたんだ。でもね、私私その場でエリちゃんのこと止めてあげられなかった。エリちゃんのことを本当に思ったら私あの場で言うべきだった。後悔してるんだ。私の方がお姉ちゃんなのに勇気がなかった私にもっと勇気があればこんな大きなことにならなかったのにだからごめん私も許してごめんねごめんね Damn, man. <laughs> I wish I played these games before going to six. Come on, you two. Let's get back inside. Uh huh? What's wrong? Uh. Um. Everyone's so angry. I wonder what they're gonna do when they find out Eri took the money. I mean, Kochi and Riona are already fighting. What do we do, Uncle Kaz? Hmm. Everyone's gonna hate me. Nobody's gonna hate anyone. I'll tell you what. Leave the talking to me. What I need you two to do is... Got it? Mm-hmm. Mm I'm so sorry, Uncle Kaz. Come on. Let's get everyone in the dining room. Okay. I'll go round them up. Me too. Even with these kids getting at each other and he has to deal with it, you know Kitty loves it. He loves this life. Listen up. We got Yoko's money back. <gasps> really? Then you know who the thief is. Not so fast. I actually have to apologize to all of you. Huh? Why? Well, Eddie came to me yesterday saying she found some money, but I guess it slipped my mind today. Seriously, Harry? Where'd you find it? Um, in the yard. And how much was it? A thousand yen. Which is exactly how much you were missing, right, Ayuko? Yeah. Meaning there's a good chance the money Harry found yesterday is the same money that went missing from Ayoko's bag. There's no other possibility. Don't you guys think? Um, I guess. Hmm. It's not that right to me. So then nobody stole the money. Why was I getting blamed for it? 
Uh, I'm sorry, Mitsu. All of us could have been avoided. All of this could have been avoided if I just remembered sooner. Everyone, I'm really sorry. Sorry's not good enough. Yeah, I get called a thief. Yeah, me too. Hold on, guys. Wait, I'm the one who dropped the money, so if you're gonna get mad at anyone, get mad at me. I, I should have said something sooner, too. I'm really sorry, everyone. See, Uncle Kaz was just a little forgetful. I think we should be glad none of us turned out to be thieves. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, Riona. Don't worry about it. And I'm sorry for suspecting you, Mitsu. Ugh, ah. uh, whatever. I probably deserved it for how I treated Koji. Hey, it's all in the past now. I'm just glad I got my money back. Though, now I'm realizing I'm starving. When's dinner, Uncle Kaz? I want to eat too. Me three. Oh yeah, we totally forgot about dinner. Right, let's get moving. And make it snappy, Uncle Kaz. <laughs> Try not to eat the table while I'm gone. Actually, why don't you all go play outside while we cook? We'll come get you when it's ready. Okay. Well, guess we better get started. Right. Don't you do that weird ass walk. Okay. Oh, uh, Crook. Uncle Kaz, Uncle Kaz. What's wrong, Tai Chi? It's that guy with the curly hair. I just saw him again. Are you sure? Yeah, he's in that blue truck, probably spying on us again. It's definitely him. Alright, I'll handle it. Make sure everyone gets inside. Okay. I'm gonna go take a look outside. Think you can handle dinner while I'm gone, Haruka? Of course. Be careful, Uncle Kaz. Mm, I'll be fine, don't worry. But if I'm not back in time for dinner, you guys can start without me. Okay. Huh? What? I thought there was someone out here. What? I thought there was somebody out here in a in their truck. That one's by the water. What the fuck? Hmm? I'm talking. Continue asking question. Wait, what? Fuck. I don't even know what we were on about. Oh, yay or nay? I'm against it. Anyway, I'm not on this right now. What? Are they hiding somewhere? They're hiding somewhere, aren't they? Are they in our house? Where are these guys? What? They're not in here. What the shit? They really were down here. I don't see him anywhere. Maybe Tai Chi was wrong. Hey, uh. 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 じゃあ何の用だ。今日、今日は兄貴にどうしても頼みたいことがあって。What kind of favor are we talking? 
It's gonna do with the little lady. You mean the girl with the sketchbook? Hey. That's right. Two nights ago, she just disappeared. Nobody knows where she could have gone. You think she ran away? Don't know. We got men searching the streets and all, but they haven't found her so, so much as a trace of her yet. And have you gone to the police? Well, not exactly. Why not? You should file a missing persons report. Yeah. I don't... Do <sighs> I don't know that we really can. What do you mean? Well, the truth of it is, she's the daughter of a guy the boss used to do business with. Now that the boss is taking care of the girl, yeah. But he never officially adopted her. If the cops found out about that, they that she'd be shipped back to her parents no questions asked. And we don't want that? Uh. Right. Saki-san's parents are real scum of the earth. Let me tell you. Her dad's gambled all their money away and then some. Then would come home stinking of booze and beat the daylights out of the girl and the mom. Her mom, on the other hand, was always sweeping around, acting like she didn't want a damn thing to do with her. So then Nakahara took Saki in to protect her. Yep. Three years back, we got asked to collect on her dad's gambling debt. So the boss went over to their house, but when he walked inside, what happened? He found the guy dead, hanging blue face from a rope in their living room. Saki-san still clutching his wife's leg. And her mom? Probably off with one of her fuckboys. Lady never gave a single shit about Saki-chan. Or Saki, or whatever. Which is why Nakahara took her in. Yep. The boss looks scary, sure. But he's got a good heart. It just wasn't him to leave Saki-san like that. And yeah, he complained at first about how much trouble it was raising a kid. But it wasn't long till he ended up a proud father. Now he treats Saki-san like his own flesh and blood. San, Chan, damn. That's amazing. Yup, but word has it, her mom's back in town. And she wants to take Saki-san back. Why now, after all this time? Beats me. <sighs> Probably so she can have a maid to do all the housework while she goes out and parties. Anyway, the boss has been trying to keep the little lady in the office so her mom would be able to find her. Which is why she was there when I stopped by. Yep, and now she's missing. The boss is real worried. Saki's not a child anymore, though. Couldn't she just call him if she needed to? Call him? Not a chance in hell. Why not? The girl's mute. What? The doctor said it's some kind of mental block. Probably from watching her dad hang himself right in front of her. So you see, she can't call us. And that's why she has a sketchbook. Come on, Anaki. We gotta find her as soon as possible. Please. で、俺に何をしろと。今、親父は荒れちまって手がつけられねえ状態です。だから兄貴に出張ってもらって、とりあえず親父を落ち着かせてほしいんです。なんで俺なんだ。先日の一件から、親父は兄貴に一目置いて
Doody doody. Doody doody. Or are we going into a back alley? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Damn, he kicked your ass, didn't he? Gonna have to beat some sense into this old man. What do you want this time? Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to talk about your little land problem. Rikyo told me what's going on with Saki. Ah, that's Rikyo for you. Never knows when to keep his damn mouth shut. This ain't your problem, kiryu son. Why don't you go look for her? Can't. Wouldn't be so wouldn't be so miserable if it were that easy. What do you mean? She ran away because she didn't want to live with me anymore. I just scared her off while I went hunting for her now. You don't know that for sure. Why don't you try to figure out what she really ran away for? It wouldn't be too late to catch up to her if you go now. Rikyo told me Saki's mom's been out looking for her recently. Maybe Saki just wanted to see her again after all this time. Same difference. Either she wants to be with her mom, or she doesn't want to be with me. God damn it. Am I really worse than that miserable... Nakahara. Guess a Yakuza like me doesn't have any business taking in a kid in the first place, huh? That's not true. All children need is someone who really, truly cares about them. It doesn't really matter what you do for a living. The hell do you know? You think you're some kind of kid expert just because you run a fucking orphanage? I know enough. I was an orphan myself. Huh? Not only that, the man who raised me was in the Yakuza. And since I have no memories of my birth parents, that man is more of a father than I've ever had. He might have been a Yakuza, yeah, but I loved him all the same. And I'm sure Saki loves you too, but it isn't natural for her to... But it's natural for her to miss her mom. She's still just a kid, after all. You... you really think? Of course. I get out there and find her before someone else does. But... I can't. Why not? Look at me, kitty son. Why would Saki ever want to come back to a mess after to this mess after seeing her mother? A thug like me can never compare to an actual parent. I'm just gonna have to face the facts. Saki's gone. You really think so? Yeah, I do. Time to fight. Wagon. I just なんでお前さんが俺もなあんたと一緒で目の前に困っている お前。あんたんとこの若いの帰り行くぜ。行くぞ、リギア。はい、兄貴。うん。Thanks for talking to Amonaki. But if we're really going to look for Saki, I don't have the slimiest is that Swimist? Swim's idea of where to start. Then we'll just have to ask around. We can focus on the area right around the office for now. But we already combed every last nook and cranny. Nobody's seen her. And you don't know where her mom lives? Uh. Nope. Sorry to say. Is there anywhere you haven't looked? Now where'd she... Uh, 
nowhere. She'd be likely to turn up. Only stone left unturned is Hachimi. Hachimi. Why haven't you checked there? Place is the biggest red light district on the island. Chock full of hostess claws, brothels, all sorts of smuts of kids and I are gonna go anywhere. Besides, what? It's the Tamashiro family turf. Things get real hairy fast if we shut our faces over there. Then it's settled. We're going to Hachimi. <laughs> but Anaki, I just told you, Hachimi's the only place you haven't looked. I don't care whose turf it is. We're going. Well, you're welcome to stay behind if you think Tamashiro's are really that scary. Like hell that's gonna happen. I'm coming, Anaki. Good. Now let's go. Alright. I can feel a long battle coming on, probably. Uh, Hachimi is... Hachimi is... Um, Hachimi. That's up there. So we gotta go up there, okay. I know where Hachimi is, though. Out of the way, dickhead.